Hello children, welcome back to our class. What we discussed in our previous class, we discussed about finding zeros of the polynomial and what is the graphical representation of a second degree polynomial and finding out the zeros of the polynomial by factorization method and um, finding out a polynomial when zeros are given and uh, establish the relationship between zeros and coefficients of a quadratic polynomial also, right. So, now in this class we are going to discuss about for third degree polynomials as well as fourth degree polynomials also, okay. So, let us start with second degree polynomial. For example, when two zeros are given like alpha and beta, then what is the second degree polynomial? So, when two zeros are alpha and beta, then the second degree polynomial is going to be p of x is equal to x square minus of alpha plus beta into x plus alpha beta and you can write it as x square minus alpha plus beta is equal to sum of zeros okay, and into x plus alpha into beta is equal to product of zeros, right. So, sum of zeros and the product of zeros, this is what a second degree polynomial when two zeros alpha and beta are given. Now, instead of two zeros, now when you are given three zeros, then how to find a third degree polynomial, okay. So, alpha comma beta comma gamma are the zeros, then what is the cubic polynomial p of x is equal to. So, let us try to understand what is the third degree polynomial, right. Alpha comma beta comma gamma are the zeros of the given polynomial, so that they are the values of x. So, x is equal to alpha, x is equal to beta as well as x is equal to gamma, right. If x is equal to alpha means alpha is one of the zeros, then we can say that x minus alpha is equal to 0. Similarly, x minus beta is equal to 0 and x minus gamma is equal to 0. So, x minus gamma is one of the factors because alpha is one of the zeros. So, that x minus alpha is 1 0, x minus beta is another 0, x minus gamma is another 0. So, sorry another factor. So, when you multiply all these three factors, then you get a third degree polynomial. So, therefore, what is that third degree polynomial? p of x is going to be, the first factor is x minus alpha and the second factor is x minus beta and the third factor is x minus gamma, right. Now, you will have to multiply all these three factors, linear factors. Uh, when you multiply these three, already we multiplied this x minus alpha and x minus beta, right. Then only we got this x square minus of alpha plus beta into x plus alpha beta. Let us write this instead of x minus alpha into x minus beta, which is equal to x square minus of alpha plus beta times x plus alpha into beta multiplied by another factor that is x minus gamma. So, when you multiply these two, you get x square into x is equal to x cube minus alpha plus beta into x into x is equal to alpha plus beta times x into x is x square plus alpha beta into x is plus alpha beta and then minus gamma into x square is minus gamma x square and then minus into minus is going to be plus gamma into alpha plus beta times x. Finally, plus alpha beta into minus gamma is going to be minus alpha beta gamma, right. So, if you write them in a proper order, first x cube term and then x square term. See here x square terms are minus alpha plus beta into x square minus gamma x square. From these two terms, if you take one minus x common, remaining here alpha plus beta and here plus gamma because minus already taken common. So, that x cube minus x square into alpha plus beta plus gamma and then coming to x terms. What are x terms here? Gamma into alpha plus beta into x 
okay minus alpha into beta into gamma right so i just want to know what are x terms here x into x square is x cube x into x this is alpha beta index is equal to alpha beta i forgot to write that now x terms are alpha beta x is one term and gamma into alpha plus beta x is one more term so from these two terms if i take one x common remaining alpha into beta and then plus gamma into alpha is equal to gamma alpha plus gamma into beta is equal to beta gamma when i write them in the standard form plus beta gamma plus gamma alpha right and constant so throughout the constant is minus alpha into beta into gamma this is a third degree polynomial whose zeros are alpha beta and gamma and if you want to observe this x cube minus x square into alpha plus beta plus gamma plus x into alpha beta plus beta gamma plus gamma alpha minus alpha into beta into gamma let us try to understand the terminology of this third degree polynomial with the help of the second degree polynomial since alpha gamma beta are only zeros we can say this alpha plus beta as sum of the zeros as well as alpha into beta as product of the zeros absolutely fine now for this polynomial alpha beta gamma are the zeros so what do you call this alpha plus beta plus gamma since alpha beta gamma are being zeros you can say that alpha plus beta plus gamma is equal to sum of the zeros as well as alpha into beta into gamma obviously product of zeros then what do you call this alpha beta plus beta gamma plus gamma alpha alpha into beta is product of zeros beta into gamma is product of two zeros gamma into alpha is product of two zeros and we are adding them all means one this is basically the sum of product of zeros taken two at a time because alpha and beta are two zeros beta and gamma are two zeros gamma and alpha are two zeros that is why we can say this alpha beta plus beta gamma plus gamma alpha as sum of product of zeros taken two at a time so that you can remember this third degree polynomial when zeros are given that is x cube minus x square into sum of zeros plus x into sum of product of zeros taken two at a time minus product of zeros and moreover you can remember the sign order of the sign also easily see in second degree polynomial x square sign is positive and then next x term is negative and then constant is positive means first plus and then minus and then plus means alternate plus or minus here x cube sign is positive x square sign is negative x sign is positive constant is negative so that here also alternate plus or minus so this way you can easily remember either second degree polynomial or third degree polynomial or fourth degree polynomial also right so this is what is the standard form of a third degree polynomial whose zeros are alpha beta gamma that is x square minus x cube minus x square into alpha plus beta plus gamma plus x into alpha beta plus beta gamma plus gamma alpha minus alpha beta gamma where alpha plus beta plus gamma is equal to sum of zeros alpha beta plus beta gamma plus gamma alpha is sum of product of zeros taken to at a time alpha into beta into gamma is equal to product of zeros similarly here we got what is sum of zeros and what is product of zeros of a second degree polynomial we obtain those formulas also they are alpha plus beta equal to minus b by a and alpha into beta is equal to c by a similarly we'll try to get what is the value of sum of zeros and what is the value of sum of product of zeros taken to at a time and what is the value of product of zeros by comparing this with the standard form of third degree polynomial so what is the standard form of third degree polynomial that is a x q because we are finding out one third degree polynomial here that is a x q plus b x square plus c x plus d that is the standard form of third degree polynomial so that is p of x is equal to a x cube plus b x square 
plus C x plus D is the standard form of third degree polynomial. And now you will have to compare the standard form of third degree polynomial with this third degree polynomial so obtained by taking the zeros alpha, beta, gamma. For that the coefficient of x cube is equal to 1. Here the coefficient of x cube should be 1. For that you will have to equate this with 0 and then divide every single term by a. So that this is by a, this is by a, this is by a, this is by a, also 0 divided by a. Then the first term is going to be x cube plus b by a times x square plus c by a times x plus d by a is equal to 0. Now you will have to compare this with the standard form of third degree polynomial whose zeros are alpha, beta, gamma. So therefore, I am equating with this to this polynomial then it is going to be x cube minus of alpha plus beta plus gamma into x square plus alpha beta plus beta gamma plus gamma alpha times x minus alpha beta gamma which is equal to the standard form here that is x cube plus b by a times x square plus c by a times x plus d divided by a. Okay? Now compare like terms. So what are like terms here? x cube term to x cube term, x square term to x square term, x term to x term, constant to constant. Here x cube is equal to x cube. So it does not matter. Now comparing x square terms. So while comparing x square terms, then we get here x square term is minus of alpha plus beta plus gamma which is equal to here x square term is b divided by a which is equal to b divided by a. Can you obtain what is the value of alpha plus beta plus gamma? Yes, therefore the value of alpha plus beta plus gamma is equal to minus b by a. Minus b by a is nothing but what is b here? b is coefficient of x square. In second degree polynomial b is coefficient of x but in third degree polynomial b is coefficient of x square. So minus coefficient of x square divided by what is this a? a is coefficient of x cube. right? So that is the formula for alpha plus beta plus gamma is nothing but sum of zeros. Next, after comparing x square terms, now let us compare x terms. So, when you compare x terms, here x term is alpha beta plus beta gamma plus gamma alpha. So, that alpha beta plus beta gamma plus gamma alpha is equal to here x term is c divided by a. right? So, alpha beta plus beta gamma plus gamma alpha is known as sum of product of zeros taken two at a time which is equal to c divided by a and what is c in this uh, in this cubic equation that is coefficient of x. So c is equal to coefficient of x divided by a is going to be coefficient of x square. right? So this is about alpha beta plus beta gamma plus gamma alpha. And finally, let us try to compare constants. Okay? So, when you compare constants, then we get here the constant is minus alpha beta gamma. So, minus alpha into beta into gamma, which is equal to what is the constant here? The constant is going to be d divided by a. From this, minus alpha beta gamma is equal to d divided by a. Therefore, alpha beta gamma is equal to minus d divided by a which is equal to minus what is d here d is going to be the constant so minus constant divided by a is equal to coefficient of x cube right so here this is coefficient of x cube this is about the values of alpha plus beta plus gamma means sum of zeros of cubic polynomial which is equal to minus b by a 
and alpha into beta plus beta into gamma plus gamma into alpha is sum of product of zeros taken two at a time as well as which is equal to c divided by a and alpha into beta into gamma which is equal to product of zeros that is minus d divided by a. So, this is about second degree and third degree polynomials their zeros as well as relationship between zeros and coefficients of second degree as well as third degree polynomials. So, let us understand some problems like if it is a third degree polynomial or is a both fourth degree polynomial. When a third degree polynomial is given it may have maximum of three zeros when one zero is given then how to find the other two zeros or when two zeros are given how to find the other zeros. Okay. So, let us try to understand by taking some examples of course, all these examples are very very important in our CBSE examination point of view right. Okay. So, let us try to understand one problem that okay, the problem is given like that that is if root over 5 divided by 3 and root over minus root over 5 divided by 3 are two zeros of one fourth degree polynomial that fourth degree polynomial is 3 x to the power of 4 plus 6 x cube minus 2 x square minus 10 x minus 5. See there are two zeros given those two zeros are two zeros of this fourth degree polynomial then you will have to find then find then find other zeros of the polynomial find other zeros of the polynomial. So, how to find other zeros of the polynomial see since it is a fourth degree polynomial then that polynomial has at least at most four zeros out of four zeros two zeros were already given then you need to find the other two zeros at the maximum right. So, in order to find the other two zeros then we have <coughs> different methods, but the friendly method to figure out the zeros of the polynomial is with the help of the given two zeros we can obtain one quadratic polynomial. Since root over 5 by 3 is one 0 and root of minus root over 5 by 3 is the other 0 then the quadratic polynomial so obtained by root over 5 by 3 and minus root over 5 by 3 is also a factor of this fourth degree polynomial. So, that we will divide this fourth degree polynomial by that second degree polynomial so obtained then definitely we will get a quotient of course, the remainder would be 0 take that quotient it should be a second degree quotient and then find out the factors are zeros of the polynomial by our splitting middle term method as simple as that. Okay. So, let us try to understand now first of all you will have to form a second degree polynomial by the zeros root over 5 by 3 minus root over 5 by 3. Okay. So, let us consider those zeros are let alpha is equal to root over 5 divided by 3 and moreover beta is equal to minus root over 5 divided by 3. When alpha and beta are two zeros then what is the second degree polynomial that is p of x is equal to x square minus alpha plus beta alpha plus beta times x plus alpha into beta substitute those values which is going to be x square minus alpha plus beta that is root over 5 divided by 3 plus minus root over 5 divided by 3 into x plus alpha into beta alpha into beta is equal to root over 5 divided by 3 into minus root over 5 divided by 3. Okay. If you simplify this see here root over 5 by 3 minus root over 5 by 3 will get cancelled then you will get 0. 
So, I am writing this one as x square minus 0 into x is equal to 0 x, but still I will write that. So, 0 into x and then see here plus into minus is equal to minus root over 5 by 3 into root over 5 by 3 is equal to root over 5 by 3 whole square, which is nothing but 5 divided by 3. So, this is what my second degree polynomial so obtained whose zeros are root over 5 by 3 and minus root over 5 by 3. What should I do now? I should divide this given fourth degree polynomial by the second degree polynomial so obtained. Okay? So, p of x is this and dividing that fourth degree polynomial by the second degree polynomial so obtained. So, what is that fourth degree polynomial? 3 x to the power of 4 plus 6 x cube minus 2 x square minus 10 x minus 5 by what is that polynomial? That is x square minus 0 into x minus 5 divided by 3. Okay? Let us start dividing. Yes. 3 x to the power of 4 this is, then this is x square. x square into how much is equal to 3 x to the power of 4? x square into x square is x power 4. That x square into 3 is equal to 3 x square. So, that 3 x square should be written here. Now, multiply these 3 terms with 3 x square. 3 x square into x square is going to be 3 x to the power of 4 minus 0 x into 3 x square. 0 into 3 is equal to 0. x into x square is equal to x cube and then minus 5 by 3 into 3 x square. 3 and this denominator 3 gets cancelled. Minus 5 into x square which is equal to minus 5 x square. So, you will have to subtract this from the above polynomial. For that, you will have to change the sign. So, this is positive, right? So, that it would be negative now. It was negative, so it is positive now. It is negative, so now it is positive. Okay? 3x power 4 minus 3x power 4 will get cancelled. 6x cube plus 0x cube is going to be 6x cube. And then minus 2x square plus 5x square. What is minus 2 plus 5 is going to be plus 3x square. And then carry one more term that is minus 10x. Clear? Right. Now x square into how much is equal to 6x cube? Obviously, it is plus 6x. So, 6x into x square is equal to 6x cube. Again, minus 0x into 6x is equal to minus 0x square. And then, <coughs> minus 5 by 3 into plus 6. See here, 3 1s and 3 2s are 6. 2 into 5 is equal to minus 10x. Again, you will have to subtract. For that, change the sign. This was positive. So, now it will be negative. This was negative. Now, it is positive. This was negative. Now, it is positive. Okay? 6x cube minus 6x cube gets cancelled. 3x square plus 0x square is equal to 3x square. Minus 10x plus 10x will be 0. But we have one more term. That is why I am writing this as 0x. And finally, I have minus 5 left over there. So, substitute uh, carrying down. Again, x square into how much is equal to 3x square? Obviously, plus 3. So, plus 3 into x square is equal to 3x square. And then, minus 0x into 3 is equal to 0x. And then, minus 5 by 3 into plus 3. 3, 3 cancel minus 5 into 1 is equal to minus 5. Now, subtract again. This was positive. <coughs> so, now it is negative. Negative. So, it is positive. It was negative. Now, it is positive. Okay? So, 3x square minus 3x square gets cancelled. 0, 0 cancel, minus 5 plus 5 cancel. So, you left with 0. So, why are we getting 0 here? Because this x square minus 0 into x minus 5 by 3 is a quadratic polynomial so obtained whose zeros are the zeros of this fourth degree polynomial. 
so that is why we got zero as the remainder okay fine now let us <coughs> come to what is the quotient here this is the quotient right therefore what is the quotient i am going to write the quotient that is quotient is going to be 3x square plus 6x plus 3 you will have to factorize this quotient in order to factorize this you can take one 3 common so 3 into x square plus 3 twos are 6 plus 3 ones are 3 x square plus 2x plus 1 can be factorized as x plus 1 into x plus 1 so these two are the other two factors of this fourth degree polynomial because two factors are already x minus root over 5 by 3 and x plus root over 5 by 3 and the other two factors are x plus 1 into x plus 1 means x plus 1 is equal to 0 when x is equal to negative 1 x plus 1 equal to 0 obviously x is equal to negative 1 so therefore the other two zeros of the polynomial are negative 1 as well as negative 1 so this is the way of finding zeros of the polynomial when two of the zeros are given how to find the other two zeros of fourth degree polynomial so you have to remember this method this is pretty much easier method in order to find the remaining factors when some factors or some zeros are given for a given fourth degree polynomial or third degree polynomial whatever it is hope you understand so this is alpha is equal to root over 5 by 3 beta is equal to minus root over 5 by 3 okay then what are the other two zeros of the polynomial 3x power 4 plus 6x cube minus 2x square minus 10x minus 5 okay right so let us try to understand uh, some more we, by using some more problems okay so i have few set of questions okay which were given in our exercise now i will try to explain these problems now okay so those problems are now you understand when two zeros are given how to find the other two zeros of the polynomial okay and few set of problems are given like okay so the first problem is if the zeros of the polynomial okay if the zeros of the polynomial zeros of the polynomial x cube minus 3x square x cube minus 3x square plus x plus 1 are what are those zeros of the polynomial given a minus b comma a and a plus b then find the values of a and b okay so how to find the values of a and b because here a minus b a and a plus b are zeros of the polynomial of which polynomial that is a third degree polynomial right then you will have to find out the values of a and b so how to find out the values of a and b that is what you need to understand okay how to find the values of a and b first of all try to understand the given problem the given problem is in this particular problem you have a third degree polynomial okay so what is that third degree polynomial that is p of x is equal to x cube minus 3x square plus x plus 1 and whose zeros are a minus b a a plus b but let us consider since it is a third degree polynomial alpha beta gamma are zeros of the third degree polynomial for suppose okay then alpha plus beta plus gamma what is the formula for alpha plus beta plus gamma which is equal to minus <coughs> minus b by a and what is the formula for alpha beta plus beta gamma plus gamma alpha which is equal to c divided by a and alpha into beta into gamma is equal to minus d divided by a because we have all these three informations for a third degree polynomial now you compare this third degree polynomial by the standard form of third degree polynomial that is ax cube plus bx square plus cx 
plus d right so this is a third degree polynomial identify the values of a b c d there a is equal to coefficient of x cube here it is 1 and b is equal to coefficient of x square that is minus 3 and c is equal to coefficient of x that is 1 and d is equal to constant that is also 1. So, here I will write the values the value of a is equal to 1 and the value of b is equal to negative 3 and c is equal to 1 as well as d also is equal to 1 and then after identifying the values of a b c d my zeros of the polynomial are not alpha beta gamma given that zeros of the polynomial are a minus b a a plus b ok. So, let us take alpha is equal to first 0 that is a minus b and beta is equal to second 0 that is a and gamma is equal to third 0 that is a plus b ok. I have three relations for alpha beta gamma I am going to use the first relation what is that first relation alpha plus beta plus gamma which is equal to minus b divided by a correct substitute the values of alpha beta gamma as well as a and b also. So, alpha is equal to a minus b plus beta is equal to a plus gamma is equal to a plus b which is equal to minus b what is the value of b here b is equal to minus 3 whole divided by a a is equal to 1 now simplify this minus b and plus b gets cancelled a plus a plus a is equal to 3a which is equal to minus of minus 3 is 3 3a is equal to 3 3 into how much is equal to 3 3 into 1 is equal to 3 therefore the value of a is equal to 1 we got the value of a now how to get the value of b to get the value of b you can choose um, like either second information otherwise third information anything is okay but i think third information is <coughs> um, very useful information and moreover alpha into beta into gamma that is a simple thing. So, that is why I am using the third information. So, what is that third information alpha into beta into gamma equals to minus d divided by a ok. Now, write what is alpha here alpha is equal to a minus b. So, a minus b into beta beta is equal to a and gamma is equal to a plus b which is equal to minus d by a minus the value of d is going to be 1 divided by a is also equal to 1 ok. We got the value of a is equal to 1 better substitute there a is 1 minus b into 1 into 1 plus b is equal to minus 1 by 1 equal to minus 1 right. See 1 minus b into 1 equal to 1 minus b 1 minus b into 1 plus b is equal to 1 square minus b square. So, 1 square minus b square is equal to negative 1, but the value of 1 square is equal to 1 right. So, this is 1 transposing minus 1 here plus 1 is equal to b square. So, 1 plus 1 is equal to b square it means b square is equal to 2. If b square is equal to 2 then what is the value of b? Yes, when you remove square you should put plus or minus. So, therefore, b is equal to plus or minus square root 2 this is the value of b and this is the value of a this way you can find out the values of a and b easily hope you understand how to answer this problem ok. So, let us move on to one more example so that one more example is related to this problem so that is for example. <coughs> the problem is given like this that is if two zeros of the polynomial are next question is if two zeros of polynomial x to the power of 4 minus 6 x cube minus 26 x square minus 26 x square and then minus 138x 
138x minus 35. Okay, this is a fourth degree polynomial. For this, the zeros are 2 plus or minus root 3. Then find out. Uh, Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Okay. 